Furia have re-established themselves as a true threat to winning these events. But Genji Stumpy would like to re-establish the hierarchy. I mean, they made sure that at the end of North America, G2 did not get that perfect sweep. And right now, we're seeing Furia on a little bit of a tear through the European teams. Can Genji be that team to shut them down and make sure that they don't continue that run of dominance? And Shogun, in the predictions, We've got against each other here. You're yeah. a Fury boy. I'm on Gen G side. Listen, I'm having a great time. This has been my best predictions uh, run so far in That's quite not some that time. Big of a claim. No, it's definitely not. What's more terrifying is I think I've got as many predictions right as I did for the entirety of last split. <laughs> but we will be able to get ourselves through and get started. It's Gen G looking to keep everything going their way as we now come off the backboard. Yan not able to try and turn that ball in. Lost already off the backboard yet again. Genji struggling to get themselves out of position. And there is every possibility that we can come out of this Swiss stage with seeds one and two, mm. not being EU, not being NA, mm -hmm. South America and Mina. Yeah, winner in this series is going to be going through in that 3 0 spot. A statement from either of these teams. For Furia, it would be a show that, yes, Sam is going to be on top of Gen G taking goal number one. It will be a sign that they are not a one-team region. There is a second team that's come to play, and Chronic opening up the scoring. Yeah, Drafinio was kind of left out in no man's land. Wanted to keep it away from the oncoming challenge, but unfortunately, that direction also contained more blue players that were not in position to help him. Gen G1 starting off well. Trying to prove that the talk about G2 was maybe a little bit misplaced, how they were the team that was going to carry NA for the time being. They needed a little help. There's been some bump attempts, and that means Drafinio can come through. Had an error on the first side, but second time round, he can clean up from where Lost started. Doesn't get that second one. Manages to tap it straight down. Helped on by Jack, but it was going in regardless. And that's what you get when you're Furia. Previously, yes, you're going to have defensive issues where you are on full ball attack. You are going to be gunning down your opponent in every opportunity. Oh, that's but a mistake. With big errors like that, you cannot be doing it. Especially Drafinio. He's been up and down so far. We're only a minute and a half in. Off the backboard, this match has been all about pace. No true flair just yet. Wanting to establish, establish that they are the quicker of the two teams. Now the back pass and Jack. Oh. Well, there is no shot he's missing. What a link up. Started with Jack in the midfield. Trofino again with a loose touch. Gets removed from the pitch. Chronic sends it back to the Englishman. Bottom corner is going to be his. Genji, a little old lead. And so far, the quicker of the two. If you can remove that from Furious playbook, mm. that is going to go a very long way. Yes. Well, I'm going to see that player back very, very shortly. First killer, beat to the ball. Huge opportunity now. Yan, infield. Lost, takes control of the ball. Gets it in! <laughs> so calm when they knew they needed to take the time. Complete poise. Yan, central and Lost, chips it up immediately to the skies. Apparently, Jack is utterly grounded. Both him and Kroni tried to come into that top corner, but Lost is far too speedy for them. Already four goals in two minutes. Neither of these teams are baiting. This is a match to get the game going your way. Start off with everyone else starting to react to you, but this now has been the midfield! Oh. Drafinio cuts inwards and slices the defense apart! What a play from Jan. Backboard goes to Predator Missile, taps it back somewhat accidentally, but who is there to pick it up? It's going to be Drafinio yet again. Defense has not had a chance to make saves. Both of these teams are committing to that midfield because the third man on these teams doesn't want to be left stranded. Now the backboard, yet again, for apparently Jack. Backboard, bumps, saved! Double shots coming through, but Jafinia removes first killer from the pitch. Now Loss is down the other side. First killer respawns, leaves it for Jack. Yan now sending it long, high midfield. It's only him, no oh, one's up. It's an old Yan story. Loss is going to be there to come in for the second chapter, but Chronic can clear it away. A reset from Drafinio and a save sidewards, but continued pressure on Gen G, and it is looking sketch. Boost total is so low. Apparently, Jack's the only one that's got anything. He's back up to 100, but he needs to be the player, and he's the player getting bumped, harassed. He's got control of the ball, and he's done well enough when his team needed it. It's messy offense so far, but Fury are bamboozling every single Gen G First, he's been player. on zero for 20 seconds. 
It's his chance to get the ball at least. A corner boost does spawn. He leaves balls, goes boost. It's a good plan because Chronic was going to be able to pick it up. But Trevino sends him away. First going to catch it. Sends it down, actually. Lost didn't commit on that. It's a little bit awkward for Gen.G in the defense, but now they push out offensively. Good block. Who's going to be first to it? Chronic looking for the back pass. First kill. It's apparently oh! Jack. All three involved. And that was outstanding. A triple threat from the North American second team. Their second goal was a passing play, and they've just made it one step above. Outstanding moves from them. Three all. Minute 45 remaining. And a nice kick off strat here. Leaves it to Jan in the backfield. But in the mid, no one's going to be getting there until Lost does, as Crunch does not want to commit too early to it. Sends it long. Midfield again to Lost. To Drafinho on target. Only a crossbar. Eking that ball away. But everyone diving to it on Gen G side. Leaves this defense again bamboozled. These passing plays from both squads have been phenomenal. Here we go, the solo plays. We've not had many of them. Trying to just utilize the numbers advantage whenever they can get it. Grafinio past the top of one. Gets the challenge against Chronic. Now tries to go infield left instead for Lost. Gotta have eyes in the back of your heads for this sort of series. You think the player running onto it is taking the shot? Nope. He's got somebody in the blind spot, ready for it. Now Lost gonna yeah, look no for a opponent fun. check. He got him! And Chronic, what a game read to make sure he was there. Well, Chronic saw the devastation and Lost was raining on the defense of Gen G. It's been a minute without a goal, about as long as it has been in any part of this game so far. Final 40. Lost in that back corner, challenges versus Chronic. Chronic comes out the winner there. Ceiling touch doesn't quite come in, unfortunately, for him. Final 30. The pressure for Furia has been immense. And as Genji work their way out, they then find each other with the ball. Lost. Going to take over, looking for somebody. Yan now controls. Where's the support? It was on its way. Chances now as Genji wants to clear it away. Only 50 boosts. And again, being challenged. Trefino on that chance. Cleared into the corner. Abjack into the blue half. Abjack's going to try and get one. Look for a second. A first ah! killer off the crossbar. So close. But might need overtime. Plagued again and again today with these crossbars. Slightly wide hits. And the curse has hit Genji. A chance at the death of game one. No fancy kickoff straps this time. His first killer has boost, has ball. Goes to the ceiling and loss is going to shut him down. Looking for the infield pass. Furia starting to spot it more. Genji have done the same with their own defense. Fake. Now they've got Lost who gets the save. Gorgeous fake though coming through for first killer. First again at catching because it's going to want to make sure that he does not fall prey to thinking about that relative miss they had earlier on to that crossbar. Third man is such a dangerous spot. Do not get demo. Do not get hit and do not dive in for a ball that you cannot win. We now see the ball pop off. Lost. Drops it for the pre-jump. Couldn't get there in time still. First killer had more than enough speed. And Abjack shut down by Jafino in a one-on-one -on -one situation as well. Lost right-hand side again. Caught by Abjack, who has the speed, has the opportunity. And he has the fourth goal for Genji. And that is just game one. Stumpy, I think <laughs> we're in for quite the ride here. Good lord. Right, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Don't worry, you have to make those statements. Statement one went to Gen G. Mm -hmm. What does statement two go? I mean, no one's ever won on defense, and both these teams are fully offensively minded. Fury, especially, that's how they have done so well in Sam at the moment. That's not a defensive region, that is sheer offense time and time again. The Fury are very much the kings of that. Genji dealing with it phenomenally well. Abjack trying to go for a side wall read already. This time Chronic now down for the reset. Does get cut out by Jafinho. Central pass. Jack. First killer. Tab just wide. So here goes Lost. The only player with really any boost on his team. What can he do with it? Well, it needed apparently Jack to stay strong. Almost got wiped out for his efforts. I mean, we just saw Lost spend about 50 boost and he made Abjack sweat. And then he comes straight back round and he makes Abjack and Genji cry. I mean, this is still off that previous Lost play. The rest of the team did so well just to keep that pressure on, allow him to rotate back in and get the opening goal. Unfortunately, Stumpy, that previous game seems to show me one goal might not be enough. Yeah, probably not. Looking at about seven or eight per game. If everything goes to plan, but 40 seconds in. Fury with that lead as they established in the previous game as well. First killer, midfield, bounce up very high. Abjack has to receive it. Won't be going for the second, instead Yan. 
Tries to go for the catch. Jafinha is they're going to be tapping it on. And Lost has been everywhere on this pitch, offensively and defensively. You see him there chasing a couple of demos too. For many, yesterday's MVP. Lost. I mean, their win was against Vitality. Yes. <laughs> it has been a really, really good 24 hours so far for both of these squads. That boost missed, however, Lost. Not going to be something he's too happy with. Yan takes over. Kind of history from Yan when it comes to these live events. That's first killer. Narrative always getting demoed. And is anyone going to get back? Yes, Lost just stretches to make the save. But apparently Jack asking questions of the defense, making sure, keeping them honest. Yan with a reset just above the target, but first killer shuts it down before Jafino can squeak it in below the crossbar. Jafino on target, completely open. And the swarm of fury is overwhelming, Genji. And Jafino is only in that position because he decided to launch. Wanted to put something forwards. And that was what he was rewarded with, that second goal. I think many yesterday, Trofinio making fans of Fioria. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal interview he had. I'm sure he would love to give us a second one. I'm sure we'd love to hear a second one. But it's not up to us. It is up to the players. And it might very well be up to how Genji responds to this situation. Genji's comeback ability, however, is second to none. Ridiculous. The way that they can just put games that they've previously played completely behind them and then play a different play style blows my mind every single time. The Fury are going to make sure they don't even have time to think, time to adapt. Lost removes Chronic, gives them three seconds to think. Will it be enough? You already see Fury slowing it up. They know they've got the lead. Now they can rely on the individual plays. So they've outpaced them. They've outstyled them. And they are currently on their way to winning this second game. Did you feel that time going low? Chronic assuming it might go high, might be slam top bins. Yep. Instead, plays it differently, goes for a different tactic. Goes for on corner, a little bit of a trickler, and it catches him completely off guard. The third for Furia in just as many styles. Well, it's now up to Gen G to really force the pace. Furia have made it pretty aware now. They will happily slow things up. We see Chronic now going. Looking backboard, what can he set up for his team? Well, he did get a bump, but first killer's gonna have to do very well to create something from this angle. And unfortunately for him, wasn't gonna happen. Opportunity for Lost again. Can't get too much further than just past the halfway line until Jafinho smashes his face into it and makes sure that point is sent home. And the worst thing Fury can do right now is give Genji space. Genji gonna be trying to earn that space from them and rip it from their hands. Midfield sees Chronic and Drafinho go to battle. Apparently Jack completely missing the ball and now lost right hand side. Finding Drafinho again, who is backwards and without any boost. Oh, that's gonna work. From it and with Yang going up for one and the second Chronic, he had to gamble on it. You well, might as well because now you've got all of this pressure. Something that Genji really need at the moment. Struggle to come by. He's gonna turn for the challenge. Well, it's very difficult to read where Lost was gonna take that ball, but another miss. More time off the clock. This was one each. You wouldn't be worried too much about those plays. Mm. But instead, that is 10 seconds extra that took to get the ball, ball to the blue, blue, blue side of the field. My goodness, I struggled with that. <laughs> <laughs> you struggle with your words as much as Genji have struggled with trying to make any offense in this game. But with 80 seconds left, those struggles need to stop soon. Chronic on the right-hand side with apparently Jack, but shut down again by Jafinio. Abjack taking some of his anger out on a player from Furia there. And since we've spoken, Shogun, it's been about two minutes since any goal. And we've had one or two shots from Genji coming through. The offense from Fury doesn't stop whether they're winning or whether they are behind. That's the way that they know how to play. It's just much more calculated offense. Previously, we've seen Fury happily sending two players forwards on a maybe opportunity. Now just taking their time, making sure things are a little bit more precise. Do see Chronic got the reset, and oh. that was a challenge. It could have gone anywhere, especially with First Killer diving on in. Pinch attempt, and well, that should be saved. That is a horrible thing to see if you're a Gen G fan, and it might start to look even worse. A horrible thing to start with, and even worse to end it as well. Jafinho, as ever, no respect. He sees First Killer wanting to tap it down the pitch, does not care about it, comes in, dunks on Jack again. Gets two out of three. Chronic's going to be next, and that is a 4 nil at minimum for Furia in game number two. Yeah. And a response that they'll be very happy with. Jan's going to just try and add some style points. All the players on the field will know that this one is over. Time to stop talking. So as you 
used to maybe joining us on the Saturday and Sunday events, decided to join us for the entirety of this. There are no timeouts in the best of fives. You are playing back to back. And it's all about making those adjustments as quickly as you possibly can. You already know Gen G can do that. The question will be, will they be able to do that? Because Furia are on a roll at the moment. Mm -hmm. And on a roll that we have not seen since Dallas last year. Well, two years ago, actually. Take of the Swiss. Be very impressed, by the way, chat, if you can all coordinate to get something that resembles a happy birthday going on with the song. <laughs> my, my hopes are not high, but hey, we can give it a go. So we do get ourselves into game three. Now, two and oh round. Could be a long day for whoever loses this. We have seen teams reverse swept out of the Swiss. With the form that both these squads are on, you would assume that they are safe bets to make it. But a safer bet is just to win here and be done with it and go and celebrate loss of a birthday if you are on Furia. Do see loss getting a little bit of a touch. Drafinho takes control. Genji are having to launch defense maybe a little bit earlier than they are potentially comfortable with because they know if they don't, that demo is coming forwards. 40 seconds in, no instance so far. Apparently, Jack going for a save, wanting to become offensive from that point, and first kind of diving in, and we're seeing the amount of times that Genji want to clear this ball away, and yet Furia, they keep on coming, and it's Yan yet again. They're all off the goal line. First killer, he dived, he hoped, he prayed, and it was nowhere near. Furia keeping up the momentum, have now scored the last five. Five in a row since Genji won that first game as well with a slobber knocker of seven. Lost hands of all over to Drafinho. Another double tap, another bit of gold. But shuffled away from Genji. Not enough, however. Backboard needs to be cleared away by first killer. Abjad low on boost and again thwarted by another player from Furia coming through. And the boost difference is Shogun. And near enough every juncture. It is so in favor of Fury right now, and Genji are barely working their way out of their own half. Genji's defense, when they've got all three back, has been almost impossible to get rid of. The only time they've been caught is the open play, when they are finally getting a little bit of room to escape. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's not really the sort of compliment any pro player wants, is you're defending very well with all three back. That means you're not really scoring anything anytime soon. It's up to Genji to try and change that. Who's going to dive forward here? A whole bunch of blue cars. That is going to be taken over by Chronic. Moving on in now, first killer. What magic can he put together? Need some help. Look how early Drafinio is up. And that was a dangerous turn in. Chronic's done well to keep that under control. Huge numbers advantage. Lost straight at him. Abjack trying to take that snapshot, trying to catch Lost off his line, but Lost is waiting there clinically. Back corner again for Gen G. Opportunity for a reset from first killer, but nothing. Chronic then lets that ball go, catches back up to it. Sees a man central, but as do Furia. The ball straight towards Gen G's net. First killer can track back on the foot race, ends up winning it. Lost in that back corner. Challenges with Chronic. But you see, I think, on every single chance, until opportunities like this end up arising, it's just Furia. They send one, and then the second man is so close behind that you can't clear the ball too far away. You can already see Yan was waiting for that, shadowing until he knew that he had a teammate in a good spot to get the save. Believe you me, Yan was not going up to win that ball. He was there just to get it going early. So apparently Jack now has a little bit of time. Oh, and that is a good first That's touch. Lovely. Second is the reset. No one there to support. A single man on the floor there maybe would have given Gen a convincing shot on target. Fortunately for Jack, all his hard work was for now. Minute 50 remaining now. Jafinia removes Jack and Chronic can dive. Secures a save. A central pass. Yan just has to recover it. It was too far away for him to make anything from it. Yan can't get the touch. Lost again. This three-headed Hydra spitting acid at every single opportunity. Genji so far unable to make any convincing shots on there. We go back to that first game and how Genji was scoring. So many of those were infield passes, the three-way passing play. Mm -hmm. I am struggling to think of a moment where Genji had a chance to get all three players on the opposing side of the field. They'd love an opportunity for it. They want more passing play. They're going for none. the demos. That's yes. at least a good start. Yeah, they're trying to shut them down in that, in that way. But so far, we're seeing Fury with three demos. Four demos make it. Two on the side of Gen G. Chronic. 30 boost in the midfield. Flicks it over one. But Drafinho waiting. Takes it high. Challenged by first killer. And then Chronic, after picking up a boost, goes into that back corner. Gets that 50. Chance for Jack. It's a shot. It's top corner. 
But Jan away again. Just wanted to keep it behind the goalkeeper. Now first killer. Drops it to the side. This is the place they had earlier. Popped up. I think the defender would have had it anyway. So maybe good just to try and put them off their game. But again, Furia have escaped. They are trying everything, Gen.G, and it doesn't work. The Panther is just going to keep on coming. Furia the second. And it's Gianna Trofino masterclass down the right wing. Abjack, no chance. Genji thought that they had a wounded animal, and instead, Furia bared their teeth. 2 0, 40 seconds, and a chance that first killer has to make something of. But how early is that challenge? Chronic now with a couple of attempts at bumps. Lost, just going to control it. Don't expect any support. Mm. Everyone else is holding defense. Messi in these corners every now and then, but that's suiting Fury just fine. It ticks time off the clock. It's no problem whatsoever. First killer with a 50. Chronic with mid boost. Knows that Jan is nearby, so he didn't want to take a touch. The seconds tick down. There is not enough time. A pre jump, but still an inception. Fury 2 1 up in the series. A chance. Everything on the line for them to go 3-0 and oh in the Swiss. The first time for any team from South America. Double qualification points. And unless we get something here, 10 minutes without conceding a goal. Gen 3, or 9-4, to four, I should say, in goals. Mm -hmm. But Gen G have got to get this going, and they've got to get the first one here, if anything. Do not let Furia control the pace like they can when they're a goal up. Furia can play the pace game. They can play the game where they just frustrate you. This is not the old stereotype of South America. This is a team that can play in every way imaginable. It's intelligent, but unhinged Rocket League. Yep. It's, 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 how it's I know you're thinking, but what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, Jan's there. Jan, Jan scores! Well, we know what he was thinking, and he's thinking, I've got you there, my friend! 1-0! Yeah. You beast! First killer, he had more than enough boost. Had to cover the angles, but Jan catching it from further down pitch, slamming it home. Within 30 seconds, it is a South American victory. So Genji now have to fight back. Already launching, first kill. He's tried to do that sweep across a few times. He's not found anybody. Now they need a player up, but apparently Jack's gonna play the defensive role. Needs to now move forward. Ball pops up. Drafinio goes, wins, beats first killer to it. And look at this. It is just missiles being launched every single time. You will not get a clean touch. Genji playing a little bit scared at the moment, when realistically, I think they need to be playing on the aggressive side like Furion. Fight fire with fire, go crazy. And there's nobody more fired up than First Killer. He will try everything. That demo helps, the miss afterwards doesn't. First Killer, buy some time, gets stunned off the backboard. Apparently Jack would like to have given that to First Killer, but with 12 boost, there's no magic in the tank. Now goes Chronic, looks for the ceiling, even the ceiling is covered. If it's that difficult to get control of the orange side of the field ceiling, how difficult is it going to be to score in the blue goal? Going to find out. There are passing options. He's up. But it's Drafinio on target. Misses it. And up Jack. Needs help. He hasn't got it. Jack tracks back, but not back quick enough. And Drafinio asked so many questions that he could not answer. And Loss up trying to dunk Jack, sees he doesn't get the touch, and so re-angles in the air, gets a relative tap-in, but the mechanics to be there on time and on target are otherworldly. We go straight back to that interception. That was sheer disrespect. That was Trafinio. before he played the ball. Yeah. He knew where that was going. That's a problem when the defense knows what you're doing before the offense does. That's a great chance. And even that's not going to go in. Jan. Huge flick, chased up by Lost. Have to do a player count at the moment. You would assume there's four blue cards, cards in the field. There is not. There is only the three of Furia. First kill towards that right-hand side, but Jan's going to be there first. A messy touch then allows Apjack yes. into the skies. It's a bounce, gives time, and not enough boost, but Jafinho has got it in spades. And that is a sentence that has been said quite often in this. Genji are in a good position and don't have the boost to do anything with it. That has not fallen to the right player at the right Great time. And Loft is in so much trouble because Chronic is barreling in. And that's what you need, Genji. 
You need the fire, you need the demos, and you need the ambition to take down Furia. Halfway through the game, half of the goals cut down. Genji end their streak of being scored upon. 12 and a half minutes and they recover one. The drought is over. Now will they find the harvest? Up they go. Chronic can't get to it. And last goal is the first time that Genji have found the bump that they've been looking for. The play style and the strategy has been the same. Just finally got it to work. There's the infield. The infield, however, worked brilliant in game one, has not worked once since. Lost us there to intercept again. Drafino getting an awkward touch. Chronic challenges against him. Now Jan barring down on first killer. Chance to Drafino, but first is going to win out on that one. Dead on the halfway line. Chance again. Lost clears it away. Midfield. Drafino's in the way. Anytime it gets any amount of air, that ball is slammed down by Furia. This is the first chance. First killer. Can he show off the mechanics? Not quite. It's the first time he's really had a chance to try and flex his muscles. Now apparently Jack looking for the backboard. This isn't a good spot here, but Genji do not have the numbers. But a quick turnaround could see Genji back on that scoring streak. Abjack Central is chronic. There he is. The snapshot. Yan doesn't respect it. Drawn level. They've pre-jumped. It works. They pre-jumped. It works. Yan pre-jumps. It doesn't work. Genji 2, Furia 2. We might have some life in this series yet. And tell you what, snapshots were not working earlier on, and Chronic will be very happy that it has on that chance. Great shot from him. 70 seconds, Chronic again going far down the pitch. Furia, as they've let two goals go, we've seen how they can go. Will it be similar to game number one? Off the backboard, Lost gonna try and get the block. It's down, Yan gonna try and chase. In comes first killer, off the blind spot, and Drafinia was not caught out. Great catch from Jan. Can't get it above Chronic, however. First killer back into the corner. Opportunities for both teams really starting to come out now, but Jan with a miss. Loss has to take it back. Picks up 100 boots in the corner. Now Drafino up high. Will Jan go for it? He's given, he gets given so much space to go for it. Apparently Jack was prioritizing that middle boost because that's what it's been like for Genji. They've got to try and control that. Low challenge. First killer back over to Chronic! The passing blades are back yet again! And Genji reaped that harvest! Turns the defense into a pretzel! All over the place! But Genji, out of nowhere, they're back in it! They're back in the lead! 26 seconds to send us to Champions Field! Still 20 seconds, Shogun. And Furia, we've seen these late goals that they can muster up. First killer, right-hand side, a redirect. Just keep that ball away from Furia. Jan keeps first killer away from the pitch entirely. Lost, central, Didrafinio. Lost is still an option. Goes up high, Lost receives. First killer, bad board, intelligent play from him as Jack stays grounded. Now, any amount of floor touch, Genji are going to be hoping for. A backflip, Lost lets it go. Game five for a Furia, the third world. Yet here we are. History on the line. Can Furia get rid of Genji? Or are Genji the true juggernauts of North America? Let's find out. Connors will be receiving that ball from yet another lovely 50 at Jack Central. No one's going to be there to receive it off his touch. I think full aggression is going to continue to be the theme of this game. Why would they slow down now? And at Jack is going to be erupting the arena in flames. Both these teams in prime position to make it. But this is about a statement. This is about making it that you are the team to be in that playoff round. And that was so difficult to read. But everybody, that wasn't lost. Huge mistake. And Genji are down by one. What a touch from Yan as well to send it all the way into the orange half. For a relatively safe position. Gets that second one as Chronic just leaves it completely. Lost can then smash it home. An early lead for Furia is far from a win. And off the kickoff strap. You love to see it from NA. I feel like I've seen that one before. But first killer will be the recipient. One each. We keep going on this. Now what have they got in the bag for the next one? Nice little layoff to the side. Lost takes the shot. He's got Jack jumping. Jack misses. Lost to score. 
straight in yet again. Lost was the MVP earlier on in this game, and he's going to be keeping that mantle. Abjack, a complete miss on the backboard. The composure from game number four seemingly out the window entirely. Unfortunately for Gen G, the goals they are conceding are diabolical. Need to fix this. This is not how you would like to see a game five go. Drafinio, start with control, lays it off. Okay. The first killer who almost got that down to Jack. Now is the track back and they won't get to it. It was genius from first killer. Fake up high, go low. Abjax waiting, but Chronic pushes too far up and Jan reads it entirely. The faith that Jan has in the Fury of defense to get the ball straight back out to him on the counter attack. That's what we all wish our teammates in ranked has, but bear in mind, four goals in one minute so far. Plenty of time to work with. And we've already seen Genji do this before. Clearly a team with resounding mental, but they are really in a tough spot. But what's different to any other time in this series? Jan will wait across field. Does it even need it? Not quite. But Fioria will happily play the solo plays and make Genji challenge them. First killer goes early. Jafunia is the first man to that ball, however. On the left-hand side, Kronik will pick it up, but a relative nothing touch. Abjack has to do something with it. Nothing, unfortunately, will be apparating. Kronik now with space and time. Flicks it nice and early. Gets rid of the ball, but straight back towards Furia. Above target, Jafunia has no intention of following it. Instead, it's all a setup for loss. Again, Genji can't get back in time. They have been caught over and over in this exact same situation. And it has cost them oh so very dearly. A hat trick for loss in game number five, Champs Field. It's going to be another shot on target, saved away by first killer on that chance. Three goals to bring back for Genji. The mountain grows every time. Chronic going to take over. He's got first killer to aim for, but Lost will happily go and meet him. Can Genji make us believers again? Or is this just one deficit too far for them? Abjack with first killer in support. But Fury just read that line every single time. You're there, your yeah. teammate's there, I will be in the middle of it. Just interceptions. It must be so frustrating. Chronic again tries to find first killer. I read that one. First killer was up for it. But Jafinho in the center again. Halfway through the game. Abjack there first on target! Two goals separating, and Genji stay alive. And they changed up the formula. Let's go for pace this time. They're reading us. Let's get the challenge, send the ball wherever, and we will get there first. This is still doable with half the game left to go. Six goals in two and a half minutes. We're back to those game one oh. antics. It's Kroneg to have a shot blocked out with the demos in the back line against Furia. It, it completely nullifies their crazy rotations. Yeah, boost is coming at a premium for both squads. Those middle boosts especially, everyone wants to try and play them. We're seeing teams leave the ball, that's on target! Lost keeps it out, Yan goes up, and Kronik has dove on in. Genji have been caught in these positions before, but this time they've got the numbers. Two Kronik. minutes. Oh. Two minutes and chances again, ticking down for Fury. A reset, Yan! It's excellent! The gap yet again widened to three. Just a moment, Fury are on the counter. They swarm. Three goals up, a minute 50. And Genji, every single time that there is a crumb of hope for them, it just gets stolen. Fury are stealing everything in this series. Again, the kickoff. Jan had a great chance, but a block in the midfield. It's going to be keeping Genji to only quote that three. First killer can move it past, but not further past Jan. Abjack clearly going for those demos. Off the backboard. Lost, looking to try and put this one away. 90 seconds on the clock. First killer gets it past the first player. Chronic's going to try and chase. Lost was happy to let him do so. Cross the face of the midfield. And oh. that was actually the one they could have attacked. That's a good chance for them, but you're never going to guess that Fury are going to miss a read considering how well they've done this series so far. Abjack challenging. Only 70 seconds. Two players on Genji committing to that ball. Sent long. Jafino can't get anything from it. Chronic up for that double, but Jan, it's a second man to it. You're going to need the outplay. 
There is no world where Fioria are not going to leave somebody back in this position. And they're going to need them two times on top of that. That's on target. And off the bones. Yan puts it without a shadow of a doubt. Four goals. And Genji not looking like they're going to be scoring one. There's still a minute left, but Genji, my word, lads, you need to get one every 10 seconds or so. Furia, what a statement land this is looking like, show. And it might get added to later on. This could be the big reset when it comes to how we rank International Rocket League. We've seen glimpses. We've seen hope. They're going to try and add to it. Oh, my goodness. And that's still somehow kept out. Brilliant defense from Gen G, but it's also the last thing that they need. 25. Gen G chasing. Furia holding them at arm's length. Two or three arm's lengths at this point. Jan sends it long. Jafina is going to be up for it. Actually fakes away. Doesn't need to take that particularly massive risk. And as the final 10 ticks down, this is a Furia squad that have come to play. They went through vitality. Europe has been defeated. They are going through North America. Genji is down. Furia, South America. Welcome to Copenhagen. Welcome to the quarterfinals.